Uh, Steve, in your report on online poker cheating, just how did these scam artists pull this off? Well, it was a group of small group of insiders and former employees of two websites, Absolute Poker and Ultimate Bet. And what it looks like they did was that they got a hold of, a, of some sort of a password or code that allowed them to get into a, an administrative security account uh, while they were actually playing the games. And it allowed them to see everybody's hands, everybody's cards, face up or face down in real time while the game was going on. So in poker, if you're playing and you can see everybody else's cards, chances of winning are pretty good. And I understand the story that they of how they pulled this off uh, is possibly eclipsed by the story of how they were caught. Uh, well, the, the, strangely enough, they were, uh, not strangely enough, but uh, ultimately they were caught by the players who were scammed in the games. There's a huge online poker community and uh, that communicates through uh, websites and chat rooms uh, and people started making uh, uh, comments and posting things on the blogs on these sites complaining about a handful of players who were winning at extraordinary rates, um, rates that just were statistically not within the realm of possibility. People started keeping track of who was winning, and then they started doing all sorts of, of, of online research. There's a program called Poker Tracker, which allowed them to go back and retrieve old hands uh, that had been played in previous games and tournaments. People started doing analysis of them. They rode away to the site and, and got uh, a whole list of hand histories. Absolute Poker sent them inadvertently um, a spreadsheet that had the um, user account and the IP address of the person that was doing the cheating, and it was traced back to the company. And so they caught these cheaters, but what's happening to them? They stole twenty million dollars or more. Um, what's are they being prosecuted? There are no criminal prosecutions that are going on, as far as we can tell. Uh, one of of a half a dozen people has been identified by the. Kanawaki Gaming Commission, which sort of licenses and regulates uh, internet poker sites. Um, the other ones have not been named, and uh, the two sites in question are still up and operating. Part of the reason is, is that there are all sorts of crazy jurisdictional issues involved here because the two poker sites are, are headquartered in Costa Rica, and they're licensed uh, by an entity called the Kanawaki Gaming Commission, which exists on a, a, a purely autonomous and sovereign Indian reservation outside of Montreal. So nobody is really quite sure who has jurisdiction, if anyone.